so we are surrounded with lot of resources and that resources are divided into renewable resources and non renewable resources whether the climate the humidity conditions it it all uh, says about the climate and the weather if the natural environment is not preserved and it is kept sustainable for the next generation will not be having that's why electronic vehicles are there in today's world hello everybody i am your divya ma'am assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing with vidyashram first grade college mysore to the temple of excellence i welcome you all for today's session session 1 on your unit 5 that is natural environment so in the last class we have discussed thoroughly about your unit 4 that is technological environment how technology will impact our business how it revolution have brought a changes in our business field what are the advantages what are the consequences we had all the topics we have discussed in the last class so please visit last class uh, session and do watch the video and in today's class we'll be discussing we'll be starting a new unit called as natural environment so in this chapter you will be able to understand about about our natural environment how natural environment have its impact on our business so before st we start our class so we had a kerala flood so we have a lot of losses so we went through covid uh, situation wherein the entire world was shut down and uh, when we want to talk about the natural calamities that will be happening across the different nations we want to talk about the boycott of uh, china products so all these are the definite uh, impact that we had on our business so what are all these so how it will affect the business so the questions whatever we have in our mind at the end of the session you will be able to understand what is this natural environment how it will affect the business and what are the natural factors we have to protect so that it will definitely protect our business in return so if we are taking something from the nature it is important to give it back so what are the different natural environment so let us discuss in today's class moving forward the agenda for today's discussion natural environment we will be understanding natural environment meaning the nature of physical environment so physical environment what are its nature impact of natural environment on our business that is your manufacturing mining activity agriculture trade transportation and communication and technology so all this topic which i have told you the transportation communication trade all these are auxiliaries to trade it is nothing but your commerce so when you have to trade something you need all this branches together working so auxiliaries to commerce auxiliaries to trade so how it will impact the business you will be understanding in this unit and this is the last chapter for you all and one important question will come to your examination that is what are the factors that is impacting the business what are the natural environmental factors which are influencing the business so this topic will come to your examination so keeping this in mind as well as understanding the natural environment as a holistic we need to protect the society how it will affect the business so all together we will be discussing the natural environment in today's class natural environment the word itself says natural natural means resources so we are surrounded with lot of resources that is there so we are surrounded with lot of resources and that resources are divided into renewable resources and non renewable resources renewable resources means which is natural in nature which is already there that is land that which is god's creation that is renewable resources we have minerals we have land we have waterfalls we have rainfall all these are the flora and fauna we can talk about so all these are the different renewable resources non renewable resources are man made resources like the uh, we have a uh, best example of uh, non renewable resources that we have is the mining activities we do uh, we have resources we have created a pond that is all about the we have petroleum we have crude oil all these are the resources that is non renewable which is man made 
renewable resources man made re resources so what is natural environment the surrounding which we live is called as natural environment the surrounding the resources what we live in is called as like the land so when we have flood if we take up an example of kerala the mangalore and the hilly region so we'll be seeing lot of landslides that will be happening if you go for foreign countries volcanoes and uh, we have thunderstorm all these are the different natural weather climate which will be affecting the society which will be affecting the people as well as business so if, if people are affected if uh, they doesn't have the proper living proper standard of living to stay they it will definitely affect the business so it will uh, affect on their consumption pattern their living pattern so all these are the different natural environment that we are living in the world so natural environment efforts to reference to geographical and ecological factors so geographical factors so all across the world so since we are in a globalization era so our business will be conducted all across the world all across the globe so geographical location is different from one place to another so natural environment includes the geographical location and it also include the ecological factors it is nothing but the plants animal as i have told you flora and fauna so it includes all the animals plants everything so if you take a best example we have lakshadweep tourism that has been boosted in nowadays we can see that so that is a water place and that has been a best service sector that has been served for all the to boost the tourism service to boost the economy it has been created a such a wonderful drastic change for tourism services so lakshadweep whatever tourism package they are providing and they are without any a uh, disturbance to the ecological factors where they exist ecological the trees the plants the animals uh, without aquatic animals without affecting them so they are taking uh, a helpful benefit from those things so that is the natural environment that is creating a business tourism business that is a ecological factor so natural environment includes geographical and ecological factor which is beyond the control of the enterprise right so this is beyond the control of the enterprise what happens in natural environment is this not known to the people because it is created by god and definitely what will happen everything we doesn't know it is uncertain in nature so the risk is very high so we can take up an example of kerala flood the flood that has happened a uh, landslide that has happened in madikeri kur and the other uh, volcanoes as we take up an example so all these are the different natural factors which are affected the business so beyond the control of an enterprise it includes natural sources weather climate conditions and the landforms weather climate conditions and landforms rainfall environmental pollution etc so if you take up an example of delhi so wherein people use a oxygen gas cylinder to breathe so that was the situation that happened in the delhi so next in your tire one city that is your bengaluru so that will be the situation now only we doesn't have water to drink in bangalore so they have what they have restricted to use the drinking water for uh, consumption of your for cleaning the um vehicles and for the other daily purposes so that is the situation that we have all these are the natural environment that we have so what people are doing today they order water bottles in swiggy so people have money they order they order swiggy a water bottle and drink and what about the people and what about the animals and the ecological factor we have in our environment if our nature is there because as i have told you for a business if you you are getting the output input is required that input where you are getting from the resources from the natural environment so if the natural environment is not protected and if the natural environment is not safeguarded keeping the mind of keeping the thought in the mind of sustainability definitely we will spoil our natural environment what input what resources what the raw materials we want uh, that will be very difficult to take from the nature so land labor 
capital and organization, the factors of production, everything we get from the natural environment. So what is natural environment? Natural environment includes both geographical and ecological factor which is not controlled or which do not have a control by the enterprise which is uncertain in nature which includes rainfall, pollution, all these are called as natural environment. So the resources which is surrounded the business which is a major source of um, raw materials for the business so that is called as natural environment. Moving forward meaning of natural environment, natural environment are naturally available in the environment so they are naturally available so it is not created by man it is naturally available the natural environment includes minerals forest water and lands etc which influence the business activity these resources are not made by human beings as we have discussed this point in the previous slide moving forward we have one more meaning natural environment is the environment which includes several natural factors like climate minerals soil landform rivers oceans coastal lines etc these natural factors directly influence the functioning of the business Business. Moving forward, what are the nature of physical environment? So, in our nature, what are the physical environment that exist? The first is water on earth. You all, all know that 75% of our earth is covered by water. So, water, it might be in the saline form or it might be in the ice that we have in our Himalaya. So, 75% of our earth is covered by water. So, that is the first physical environment we need to understand. So, before, so in your next 10 years, so uh, we don't see Maldives because the water level is increasing so keeping all this in mind we need to do business so Maldives is known for the uh, a great location for honeymoon packages wherein people do visit Maldives as a dream place so the tourism sector today is there there is lot of increase in the tourism sector the service that they are provided at Maldives is at a next level so water level so understanding this natural environment they have to take up the further step with respect to the thing so that is the example I gave you all the second is the second physical environment if we wanted to talk about is atmosphere or climate and weather so atmosphere is the layers of our earth so we have troposphere we have stratosphere we have hydrosphere we have atmosphere so all these are the different layers of our earth so atmosphere is nothing but the layer where we have weather the climate the humidity conditions it, it all uh, says about the climate and the weather so next we have is effect on global warming so as man is emitting greenhouse gases so there is lot of increase in the global warming so the ozone layer what we have it has been depleted so why is all this happening is because of the pollution because of the emitted gas by the industries by the vehicles and with the bulk or the huge vehicles which is used for transportation since we are using for our benefit as a businessman you have to think about what are the causes and effects that we have when we take up this so every uh, vehicle has emission test and which most of us will not do it so it's my request for everybody to get it your vehicle done with emission test so you'll get to know what is the percentage of your vehicle is emitting to the natural environment so because it's not up it's not only our environment it is all about the ecological factor animals have it's the it's a place for animals it's a place for trees as human beings we have a rights as the other equity animals the other also have their life to lead in this earth so it is very important so that as a human being as a businessman we should protect the environment so that we should not avoid we should not pollute the environment so what we do we go um, 
we drink water in a car we throw it there only so if we use the if you go for ocean if you go for beach you use uh, you play in the water you contaminate the water and come back isn't it all these are the things we are seeing if industries are set up they are emitting loss a lot of toxic gas and the wastage will be dumped in the water so that nobody will be seen so will it definitely affect the business will definitely come back to our society will definitely uh, lead to a lot of problems that today's world we are facing if we take many examples that is there in front of us that is why in delhi diesel manufacturing cars were banned it was totally stopped because the, because of this only because diesel vehicle the it will emit lot of gas lot of smoke that is very harmful for the society so that is why delhi government have banned the diesel cars diesel vehicles so that is an example next is ecosystem so ecosystem is our this is the what is our component if we are natural environment what includes in our natural environment one is water the other is the atmosphere layer the uh, global warming the effect of global warming the ecosystem all these are the different physical environment that we have in our natural environment moving forward what are its impact on our business what is natural and environment impact impact of natural environment on our business first is manufacturing as i have told you the process of converting the raw materials to finished goods is called as manufacturing so let us understand the meaning of manufacturing first what is manufacturing the process of converting the raw materials components into finished goods it is called as what manufacturing before reaching the customer it will reach the several places and then it will be given to the customers any products if you take it will be tested it will be looked after by the specialist of that person to so, test checking will happen in every stage of product manufacturing so in every stage of product manufacturing test checking will happen so the entire process of converting the raw materials and semi, semi finished goods into finished goods the process itself is called as manufacturing so in the business for example acer requires for its manufacturing labor factory machines iron steel rubber plastic and non uh, ferrous materials all the resources that is available for the company is through from the natural environment so it will affect on manufacturing so when you doesn't have the raw materials where you have a concept called logistics so having a raw materials at a right time at a right place to the right place from the right person is important so that is all about logistic management so if if your natural environment is disturbed it will affect the manufacturing sector manufacturing of goods and services so many of the products during covid was stopped many business if you can if you can take up an example many theaters were closed during covid so what was the reason because of the natural environment because of covid because of the disease that we the people got and because of that so during kerala flood the entire kerala was shut down the product stopped manufacturing the goods and services what was importing and exporting it stopped the manufacturing unit will the, will be the first thing to be impacted by the natural environment moving forward next we have is mining activity what is mining mining means extraction of ore that is from the earth is called as mining mining is the extraction of valuable mi uh, minerals and other geological materials from the earth usually from the ore body usually from the core body of the earth uh, that is your seam vein reef or placer deposit so these deposits form mineralized package that is of economic interest to the miner so that is your mining so today we are getting petrol uh, we have getting we are getting crude oils we are getting gold we are getting silver is through what is through mining so the petroleum company requires crude oil which is extracted from the earth so that is the second natural environmental factor we have that affects the businesses mining business so if the entire world is not if the resources we are lack of petrol and 
the the crude oils why because all the things have been taken extracted from the nature if we take an example in your industrial area you don't get proper bore well set up why bore well facility why because so beneath the crust there is no underground water that is available so that's why the bore well uh, in the water you don't you don't get a water in the bore well so that is the main reason we need to protect the environment which is a very important the second a uh, business activity that will be affected by the business by the natural environment is mining activity so uh, if the natural environment is not preserved and it is kept sustainable for the next generation will not be having that's why electronic vehicles are there in today's world so you can take up an example of ather tvs iq van ola all these other uh, vehicles that is coming up is because of this only because there is a in future days we don't get petrol we don't get crude oils if we are not taken care of our environment properly moving forward agriculture agriculture refers to all mams activity related to the cultivation of soil it is depending on the soil wherein production of vegetables crops and feeding breeding everything comes under your agriculture agriculture we have horticulture we have uh, different uh, uh, to talk about we have many things when we talk about the agriculture so the agriculture activities also influence on the business activity the culture products and the raw materials for the various business cotton is the raw material for garment industries so if agriculture is not taken prepared properly and it is not done properly the major uh, raw materials for the industries will not be able to uh, taken care properly so you will not get the resources properly so the third uh, factor which is affecting is agriculture field so natural environment is very important that is for agriculture moving forward the last is trade so what is trade buying and selling of goods and services is called as trade so to trade to do business itself natural environment is a factor so if a uh, landslide if the uh, if you have volcanoes if you have natural calamity threat you can do your business can the consumption happen can the production distribution and consumption happen no it is not possible so entire thing will depend on the natural environment so to have a proper trade so without any trade barriers it is important to look after the environment natural environment and to cope up with how the natural environment is so if you are at a uh, kashmir you are staying at kashmir so what kind of products to be manufactured without damaging the society without damaging the natural environment so all these factors are very important so it refers to the buying and selling of goods and services from one country to another country trading activities also help the business to sell their goods in foreign companies so t t is example so when you have a landslide if you have a, so the major a uh, coffee bean that is uh, produced is if you take up an example chikmagalur and madikeri if you have lot of landslide do you get the uh, coffee or tea uh, or any of the things so best example you can take is tomato the what what was the situation for the producers of tomato so all these are the examples that we have how the natural environment will affect the business transportation and communication the transportation refers to the process of shipping or moving and goods from production place to consumption place if you have a heavy rainfall can you produce can you transport the goods from one place to another any of the way if you take roadways if you take railways or if you take uh, waterways airways any of the ways you take there will be the natural factors that will be affecting roadways you have a heavy rainfall you are definitely your products your agriculture crop will ruin will lose its shelf life so that is because of the natural factor so when we talk about the um, waterways if there is lot of um, tides that is there and the pressure that is there in the water waves definitely the ship cannot move if you have a, a weather which is uh, not suitable for flying your air that is also the problem so all the weather the climate everything will affect on the transportation also 
Communication refers to the exchange of facts, feelings, thoughts, message from one person to another person. The transportation and communication influence the business activity. When we talk about the communication, when you have a thunderstorm, when you have hurricane, what happened? So uh, the people, you all these things you can see in your abroad countries because we are blessed with the good natural resources that we are not facing. So throughout all the seasonal years, we have a, a moderate temperature moderate rainfall and the moderate winter conditions that we have so everything is balanced here when you go ex Rajasthan extreme hot extreme cold when you go to Kashmir extreme cold and in your other countries you don't even see the sun rise itself there is no humidity you can feel so that is the different weather cl climatical condition you have so that will affect the communication so all these are the auxiliaries to the trade auxiliary to the commerce so all these factors will definitely have an impact on the business through its natural environment so when you have lot of disturbance the communication will be will cut down so if there is lot of rainfall the current the power they themselves will disconnect so in all the areas so all these are the factors which will affect so if there is no power consumption if the voltage is high if there is variation in this all these definitely affect the manufacturing the production process and the consumption as well so this is the different effect that we had on our business from our natural environment technology Technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purpose, especially in industry. So as I've discussed a technological environment, we have in detail studied about our technology. We have spoke about chat GPT. We have spoke about uh, uh, artificial intelligence, that is your robots, all these things. So technology is the collection of techniques, skill, method, and process used in production of services in accomplishment of objective of business. So definitely if there is a uh, distraction if nature is not there if the nature is not supportive nothing the technology or any of any sort of auxiliaries of trade will be a uh, disadvantage itself because if the nature doesn't support us if the resources doesn't support us so technology also has a direct impact on the business so that's it for today's class. So in today's class, we have discussed about what is our natural environment, meaning of natural environment, what our natural environment has. So we had talked about our water, the atmosphere layer, and we have talked about the global warming. We have talked about the ecosystem and we have discussed about the how the what are the factors uh, the in we have impact on the influence of our business from natural environment so that is your trade manufacturing sector the tra technology the transportation and communication so all these are the points we have discussed their meaning and how it will affect the business so that's it for today's class smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people keep smiling thank you